Hello and welcome to Bourbon Forage Fishing. I'm your host, Ryan. Today we are doing Blanton's straight from the barrel. No, Blanton's single barrel versus Blanton's straight from the barrel. And we're gonna compare and contrast them. Blanton's single barrel is only 46.5% alcohol. It does come from a single barrel, just like the straight from the barrel does. But this one clocks in at a whopping 63.85. Now, there's not really any comparing to these. This one's much, much better. I just want to use this as an excuse to bitch and moan. So, <laughs> if you don't want to watch somebody bitch and moan, do not watch this video. Blanton's is very nice at a 46% single, bar uh, single barrel. It's a nice bourbon. When it's watered down, you can get a little bit more of the cherry with the honey. And the oats. Tastes like flavored water. It's good, but it's it's so watered down. The straight from the barrel is the barrel proof version. And it is so much better. So much better than Blanton's single barrel. I don't think people really get to have an appreciation. Now, I know Blanton's is a hype bottle and, oh, Blanton's a tater. <laughs> But um, a lot of people never really get to appreciate just how good Blanton's is because they never get it in its raw, unmolested form. That's what Barrel Proof Bourbon is, unmolested. This is so much better than a, a regular Blanton single, single barrel. So much more richness and candy and cream. Depth, it's like butter and caramel. <laughs> Wow, 20 times the flavor. Some oakiness, mm. So sweet, it's like melted candy. Melts in your mouth, not in your hand, yo. Oh, so good. So, why am I making this video? Obviously this blows, straight from the barrel, blows the single barrel uh, out, of, out of the water. Why am I making this video? Again, it's a bitch of moan. The Blanton's, the makers of Blanton's, Salzerac, have a Blanton's Gold, or sorry, Blanton's Gold, a Blanton's Single Barrel, a Blanton's Black, and a Blanton's Green. There's four Blanton's, and they're all between, I think, 45 and 51%. They're all basically the same crap, okay? It's all the same stuff, guys. Please, do the right thing here. Remove the gold or the green or whatever crap and replace it with more barrel proof. Straight from the barrel blends. This stuff is just amazing. And this is something real, like real legit bourbon collectors and drinkers, enthusiasts and lovers will seek and try to get because it is so damn good. It is so damn good. And this, if it was aged longer and did a little better, a little bit more aging, a little bit more time, I think needs to go into the BTAC line. BTAC has no Mash Bill 2 representative. There's no LRT Lee. There's no Rock Hill Farms. There's no uh, uh, what Hancock. There's no uh, Blanton, Albert Blanton. Where's the Albert Blanton? Where's the Albert Blanton, guys? Uh, you know, Buffalo Trace does so many things right, but I just don't understand how they get this wrong. Where is the Mash Bill 2? Put out more of these barrel proofs. Eliminate one of the green or the black or some crap, whatever, that nonsense. Put out more of these and put out a BTAC for Mashville 2. We deserve it. We the people deserve it, right? We deserve that. This should have been done a decade ago, okay? Blanton straight from the barrel. Sorry, Blanton's, I can't no, not say these right. I'm kind of drunk. I apologize. Blanton's single barrel is fine. It's watered down whiskey. Blanton's. Straight from the barrel is just vastly, vastly superior. It's a shame to water that down. It does make more of a, does make kind of a strawberry cherry come out though, more, which is kind of interesting, but just a shame to water that down. So sad. If you know anybody that works at Buffalo Trace, you have family members that work at place, please send this as like a PSA, public service announcement to them. Please let them know they're screwing up here. We need more of this stuff. We need more of that stuff. We don't need more of this stuff. Thank you, Bourbon Forage Fishing. Thank you, take care.